Blog Talk Radio. Hello, everyone. Good morning. It is Monday and September 7th. Uh, really early in the morning here for me, about 5.30 in the morning for me, and I hope uh, you have a wonderful day. I just thought I might do a um, a 15-minute chat, a daily 15-minute chat, calling it One Child Abuse Survivor to Another, and that's what I'm kind of hoping that this 15-minute um, segment can be about, is just um, people who might want to phone in with their story or just um, send me a chat message. They'll have the opportunity to, you know, check in every day or once a week. That's what my hope is. And just, um, you know, maybe get some information from... I'm doing a lot of studying and research, and that's why I thought I might pass this on to you because um, it's helping me out. I know that I'm getting a lot out of of the research that I'm doing and um, just meeting actually so many wonderful people on the Internet um, who are heading up some great groups that are uh, great support groups. There is support out there for you if you're suffering from, um, you know, adult survivors of child abuse or domestic abuse. There is some great information out there for you. And all you have to do is, uh, if you have a computer or go to the library, and if you don't have a computer, and get on, um, get on some of these websites and check out some of the stuff that they have because it really is some, there is some great information out there. So, yeah, this is a, a great opportunity for me. I'm excited about it, and um, I'm up every morning every morning, extremely early anyway, so I get up usually before 5 o'clock. And so I thought, you know, this would be a good opportunity to do just a 15-minute show on what I have found um, throughout the day on uh, in my research. So, you know, I'm very interested in human rights. My name is Lori Smith. If you're... Um, if you're interested in phoning in to be a guest uh, on the show or if you just have a comment or you want to bring up a certain topic, please feel free to phone in. Um, my guest call-in number is area code 917-889-3736. And you're more than welcome to phone in with any kind of questions or if you just want to say hello. And um, that's great. And I also have a chat room on, uh, well, we all do, on uh, Blog Talk Radio, and this is who I'm coming to you live from blogtalkradio.com. This is a just an awesome opportunity. There's thousands and thousands of radio talk shows by people just like myself and, and, and organizations on there, so if you ever want to check that out, it's really worth looking into. There's some great information on Blog Talk Radio. Um, yeah, there um, you can register, and then you can chat with people who you know who are doing shows and you can uh, instead of making a phone call it's a little cheaper to do it that way so you know i mean we're all trying to save some money i know i am so yeah this is great opportunity and i'm happy to be able to do it great things are i actually i'm i'm expecting great things this week you know i mean what you put into it's what you're going to get out of it and i i feel uh, a bit rejuvenated this week to um stay stay strong and to stay with um the studies that I've been doing, and also just just to to stay with um, this positive note on uh, child abuse, because I feel that um, I'm making progress in my own personal life just by this blog talk radio show, and uh, I have the opportunity to speak tonight on um, Gail Crabtree's Hope for Healing uh, Voices of uh, Voices of Hope. That's a uh, program on blog talk radio and tonight we'll be on airing uh, 8 o'clock eastern standard time and 6 o'clock mountain standard time that's where i'm at and i'll be actually a guest on her show and I, I was invited to be a guest on her show and i just I, i'm so um, excited about that because she is a lady who advocates for domestic violence and uh, sexual abuse and uh, violent sexual abuse against uh, against people she's um she's a survivor herself she has a great story. You should check it out. They have a they have a website. It's called hopeforhealing.org. So www.hopeforhealing.org. And um, yeah, advocacy for domestic violence. And uh, their mission is to educate, inform, comfort, help survivors of sexual and domestic violence. So you know you you want to give her website a, a look because she's done some great work. She has a great blog and I sign up for the blog and I get her daily blog. Usually she writes every day. And um, she's a very educated woman and knows her stuff and she's also a very nice lady. 
So I would really highly recommend um, checking out her website. And also, let's see what else happened that was just so awesome this weekend. I hope you all had a great weekend. I know I sure did. Um, I, I actually gained so many friends on Facebook. <laughs> I have so many wonderful friends that um, it, it's just it's just enriched my life. It just made my life so great um, just to know that these people are my friends and they actually, you know, we, we talk almost every day and I'm just learning so much from them. And, and I know that, you know, as I share my story with them, um, we're just all kind of growing stronger together. And that's what it takes, you know, as a survivor, as one, one child abuse survivor to another, we really need to, to reach out and, and support each other. I've found that as I've... Um, I belong to the Silver Braid Survivors Faith-Based uh, Support Group. I'm also part of, um, let me just check, I want to get the right, the correct title. It's called uh, Child Abuse Survivors, Safe Place for Survivors and Supporters of Child Abuse. That's a great website. And so is the other one, um, the Silver Braid Survivors Faith-Based Support Group. That is also for domestic abuse survivors and sexual abuse uh, survivors. So there's some there's some great support out there, and I would suggest anyone who just feeling like they just can't handle it um that they need to tell their story make sure that you you do because it's important you're you are worth it and i am worth it we are worth it we do count our voices do matter and that's why i decided um you know to get involved and to raise my voice because i realized that by me sitting out and especially having a you know, growing up the way that I did and saw the, the things that I did and went through the things that I've done, that I've gone through, I thought, you know, I, I really can't sit this one out because it wouldn't be actually the right thing to do just to, um, just to, to not have my story out there, you know, I mean, my story is a story of hope, actually, I, mean, I haven't quite got there on my blog yet, but I will, and uh, this week, actually, I'm finishing off a project at school, and then I'm taking a month off. And I wanted to finish my, just, uh, I just need a break, and I've been going pretty hard for a couple of years, just um, study, 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 everything. So I've decided to take a month off, so I'll be able to do all my blog talk shows and also um, do some more research for child abuse uh, programs and, and check more into that. And I also wanted to finish my blogs and my story on uh, Blogger, because I have two blogs, and one is called Not So Fond Memories growing up in an abusive home. The other one is for school, and that was, um, I really enjoyed doing that blog. It was called, and it's, I still write on there every now and then, um, Promote Positive Change for Human Rights Abuses, because that's the whole, um, that's my interest, is uh, human rights abuses for all uh, men, women, and children. So not just, you know, I'm not just focusing on one area. The whole, I'm getting involved in the child abuse advocacy because, just because of the way that I was raised, and people, people growing, people around me who, not growing up around me, but people who were in my life who were adults at the time made it seem like, um, you know, I'm, maybe I'm looking for validation or something, but these people in my life made it seem like um, it was my fault and that um, I deserved every kind of, every punishment, every bad um, abusive beating that I, that I got. And it used to make me really angry because I was a good kid, and I really didn't think I deserved that. So you can, uh, I've actually, my, my blogs are graphic, and I do want to point out that, you know, I'm not a counselor, and I can't give any legal aid, but I appreciate you reading my blogs, It's my, especially the one, my story. And if you do, and you feel unsafe, please don't read it, because it is very graphic. And I certainly don't want to cause anyone to, um, you know, to, uh, I don't want to trigger anyone into any kind of, bad feelings or, you know, feeling unsafe. So make sure if that you're in a safe place when you read my blog. And, um, yeah, I'll just go, I'll just read a little bit about what I want to talk about this morning, and that's re-victimization of adult survivors. This is a blog entry from the website www.wearesurvivors.org. And we are survivors. It's uh, by... Uh, it's by a lady, E. Diane Champay, and she writes, uh, this was from November 16th, quoting her. She said, once a person is victimized as a young child, particularly if they do not get any help, any type of help to heal from their abuse, they are susceptible as adults to being re victimized. And when someone suffers from trauma that hasn't healed, reactions from the old wounds will affect their adult lives in a variety of ways. Everything from substance abuse, binge 
fighting, dissociation, having flashbacks, not having healthy boundaries, and feeling suicidal. All of these manifestations of prior abuse work toward destabilizing survivors and leaves them open to, ser- to further abuse in their adult lives. And there are several ways these types of wounds manifest themselves, so we can go into that tomorrow. But what I thought I would talk about today is um, um, the issue of domestic violence as well uh, as child abuse. It's the same, really it's the same thing. And it's, uh, it's abuse and, it, and it, ca- it does hurt and it causes all kinds of issues in a person's life. I just recently... Um, uh, became a, and well, uh, was made an officer, which is just awesome, on the Silver Braid Survivors, uh, the Silver Braid Prevention for Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault um, on um, Facebook. This is a, I highly recommend you get on Facebook and sign up for uh, the Silver Braid Prevention for Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault. And also, you want to sign up at the same, it's the same group, right? They they just, mel- they melded and amalgamated into one. And the other one is the Silver Braid Survivors Support Group for Women of Sexual or Violent Abuse. Help uh, They help victims of sexual exploitation and sex trafficking ch- and child childhood sexual abuse. And this is all rolled into one, domestic violence, sexual assault, uh, child abuse, everything. This is www dot the Silver Braid organization. It was uh, founded, I guess, uh, originally by Ann Bissell, and um, this is just some great information. These people are working hard, Donna and Deanna. I just love you so much. If you're listening, I've got about three minutes left on my show. I wanted to talk about about. There was an article actually on the Silver Braid uh, Prevention for Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault. Facebook page, and that was about the same thing, uh, uh, this re-victimization of adult survivors. It's kind of like um, reactions from old wounds, wounds will affect their adult lives in a variety of ways. I'm quoting from E. Diane Champay off of WeAreSurvivors.org. Um, everything from substance abuse, binge eating, dissociation, having flashbacks, not having healthy boundaries, right? So you, you know, you um, you just don't know once you've been abused, you just not the, your sense of how to set these boundaries is maybe possibly uh, damaged. So on this website, on Facebook, um, wh- one of the ladies actually wrote a great article, and, and uh, at least I'll make sure that it's there. It might be on another support group, but I'll, I'll check and I'll make sure that it's there so you can see it, because I learned a lot from it, and it was about setting boundaries. And you really have to know what you want in life, and you really have to make a, you have to say that I'm not going to be treated that way. I'm not going to allow someone to treat me that way, especially as an adult who grew up in a child, in an in abusive situation as I did. Um, you really have to, you have to make a point to set boundaries and say, I'm, I refuse to be treated that way. Um, I'm not going to be abused. I will no, I will not permit anyone to abuse me. And this is really important for all of us. So I thought we could kind of maybe take that into tomorrow's discussion and uh, you can always ring in if you'd like my guest call in number area code four oh, I'm sorry that's my own that won't help you out uh, well actually you can call me anytime but my guest call in number area code 917-889-3736 and you can phone in I'll be on all week um, actually I'm going to try to do this every single Monday through Friday 5.30 a.m. Hopefully I don't sleep in. Um, if you hear silence, it's probably because I've slept in. <laughs> so I set two alarms just to be sure. So my show is going off here. I thank you for anyone who joined me this morning. If you're a child abuse survivor, please make sure that you stay with it. Stay strong. I want to hear some great stories of positive change in your life. I want to hear that you can do it. I want to hear that you have made the decision that you will make it. And I'm telling you, it's a decision you have to make when you wake up in the morning. It starts with you. Um, you can't change what happened, but you can certainly change your attitude towards it. I know that it's taken me years to get where I am today. It's actually taken me my whole entire lifetime to get where I am today. But I'm telling you, it's worth it. It is so worth it. I'm just counting on you to hang in there and uh, take care of yourself today as you walk through this daily walk. And just remember, there's some great websites out there great information and um, you know if you're looking for uh, for more information of child abuse uh, there is um, www.childwelfare.gov that's down in the states and www.publichealth.gov 
gc.ca that's up here in Canada I hope you have a great day I hope to hear I hope to see you again tomorrow and uh, have a have a nice day